so hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today we are going to see how we can create a level selection screen for your game and so for that let's start so for example i have made my main menu and here you can see the in the main menu i have two button for the play it uh, uh, takes me to the first level and the levels will show me how many levels are left or all the levels in the game okay so how we can create it for now you can see level button does not work so uh, we can make it so first of all you can see there are two levels i have made so this is the second level and this is the first level which is the test scene that i had created so i can test the game right so this is the first level and this is the second so what we need to do we need to add two levels on our game and in the level selection screen so for that let's see this is my main menu and let's go here and create a new control node and i will call it as level selection screen so you can also make it level selection or level selection as well so you can just make it like and now you can just go here click on it and just add some basic st st uh, stuff that i already have made in my main menu which is this so i'm just copying it here and now we got it so there are different type of level selection uh, people use like if you see the mobile games they have different kinds of uh, level selection screens so like carousal or uh, tiled so i am going for a more grid approach that we have a uh, kind of grid that we are going to use for the level selection screen so uh, let's create a grid so in order to create a grid you can use a lot of things you can use a margin container first so i'm going to use a margin container this will provide us the margin you can also click on this to make it fill out and now when you click out you can just go here and uh, you can also use grid but i am not going to use it we are going to use the hbox container and uh, inside this hbox container we are we are uh, going to use the okay so we can also do the vbox container right so first we need a vbox container so vbox container this is just a user interface design you already know it so yeah so now we have a vbox container inside an hbox container so what it does it basically vbox container will uh, if i add more than two different things it will arrange them in vertical order and the hbox adder will arrange everything in horizontal order right so let me add some more stuff like uh, in hbox container we need uh, we need button and i need two buttons so first let's let's do this one so this is the level one so we can make it uh, level one and then we can just go on theme overrides then fonts and we can set up the font here so you can just set up the font and i want the color to be red so let's go for the red color okay and then we need to go on the font size and i'm going for the 32 size right and for the icon i want my character to be for the icon something like this okay this is the level one and uh, now we need to just make it as level one and as you can just print ctrl d and it will duplicate the button and now you can just go here on theme override font okay so everything is already correct we just need to set it to two and you can see level one level two and now if you go on to the margin container you can give some margins to it so i want to give the margin to by 30 by 30 by 30 and by 30 so depending on the case you can give them margins right you can also do create a gap between them by using this margin container right so once you have done that you can see my level is working well uh, my my uh, screen is beautifully done 
and we can also add a lot of uh, levels like three four and five and i want uh, less than i want just five levels at one line okay so let's set the margin level to more like 100 i guess okay so now we can work on some more stuff like uh, we can add some name we can add some things to them like three and four and five so you can just add them and we can also add the gap between them and uh, uh, in order to do that I think you just need to go on the hbox container you can just go on the constant and you can just add the gap by using separation right so I want to add the separation of 32 you can see I can add some gap uh, in between them so now this is my first hbox container I you can name it name it as row 1 and you can just duplicate these rows something like this and you can add more um, rows here right so you can just go on the vbox container themes overwrite constant separation and we can just add something like uh, this right so you can see it's 32 for now you can also add or increase this depending on your case i like this more so yeah and there's one more thing i want to do is i want to make it a little bit bellow Um, like a uh, hundred a hundred should make it yeah so hundred is making it equal right and let's do it 70 as well and so now it looks good right and you can also add a label on the top so let's add a label and this label should be on the hair not sorry here and um oops i think this will work um, something like this right and we can just type level select level stage one maybe stage one so now we have a stage one and um, so if you can also do this to the center and i want it a little bit of bottom i guess so depending on your use case you can just do it now you can just go on the font and i want to change the font obviously and the uh, color should be you can also change the colors as like as you like so yeah and let me go on the font size and let's go on the 64 um this is a lot more bigger but i like it you can also make it 32 but this looks much more smaller 48 sounds good i will going with 48 okay so i really like it now let's see if this scene on my scenes folder so let's go on the scene folder and save it so now we made this level selection uh, scene now we can just save this scene again and now let's go on the main menu and we can just go on this level button and now let's oh sorry now let's we can just go on here and uh, we can just add a signal here on pressed and we can just use this code and for this we need the level selection screen right so that's how we can just uh, by clicking this button we will go to the level selection screen so this is the level selection screen and now we need to do the same we need to add a script to the level selection screen and uh, you can just save the script in your folders as you like and once you created the script you just need to go on the, your buttons and you can set up the signal so for example 
this is the level one so on level one button pressed i just want to go to the test scene which is my first level okay so okay, write it first um level easy right and uh, by doing so we can just select the level right and now let's do the same to our second level okay so we can just do that same and my level folder is this so i just want to um just let's do this okay so now we can move go on the second level as well for now i have only sec level one and level two so we will just go with it so let's run the scene and see how it looks let's click on level and i want to go on my let's go for the level two okay so yeah that's it for you guys thanks for watching please do share and subscribe